All right, this is Minister Paul on 11-7-2012 at approximately uh, 11 p.m. CBS, a local affiliate here in Sacramento, California, has been promoting this little snip uh, on bath salts um, all week. And so I just want to get it in real time. Bath salts, a dangerous new high. The way they've been promoting it, at using terms as it is demonic, can lead to occult activity and possession. Now, these stories, as you know, disappear. So once again, Minister Paul, watcher on the wall, want to see what they have to say and why all of a sudden is the media uh, talking about demonic activity being caused by drugs the day after the election. When there's been no reports of anybody using bath salts. It just, some things hit me uh, the wrong way, and I record them. Go ahead, babe, please. Well, every so often, a new way to get high creeps into society and the news. And one such dangerous new high is called bath salts. You may have heard of it. Some users describe the high like nothing they've ever felt, almost like they're superhuman. But as Sharon Tay explains, bath salts nearly cost one young woman her life. I thought I was demon-possessed at one point, and then I would scratch and slash at my soul, and I would be thrown back and try to snap my own neck. 21-year-old Hannah describes the horror she felt while tripping on bath salt, a synthetic drug that makes hallucinations seem real. It's so scary because it's not, I don't even know why it was so addicting to me, but I had to just keep doing it. In one year of using the drug, Hannah went from this to this. At 5'3", she weighed only 89 pounds. As a teenager, Hannah admits she tried drugs, but nothing hard. Life changed during a visit with her biological mother. She'd been having a really rough time, and I began using this new product that was referred to at that time as bonsai fertilizer. Where would you buy it? You can get it at smoke shops, convenience stores. I would pawn things. They started off being like a stimulant, and then it moved to just this very intense hallucinogenic trip. I pretty much stopped doing everything. I stopped going to my ballet studio. I stopped going into work. And then it slowly turned into voices. It was just constant. It never stopped. Hannah says she was smoking or snorting up to a gram of bath salts a day. That's about 10 lines. I would get antsy. Um, I felt like I had bubbles in my bloodstream. I did do damage to myself trying to um, extract imaginary bugs and spiders that were on my body using tweezers. The voices told me, if you put your feet through the second story window and jump, then you can be back to reality. And I almost did it. She claimed she was delusional and confused. Her journal became her best friend. While she was high, she often wrote passages backwards. When you hold it up to a mirror, you can read her thoughts. I thought that I died and went to hell because I was living in fear. I was afraid to think. I was afraid to do anything. There was just no escape. But she did escape. She underwent treatment at an addiction center close to home. At first, she stayed there. Now she gets daily outpatient care. What's the message you want to get out there to people? Um, the production and sale of bath salts and any affiliated product has to be stopped. And, you know, and it, it can happen to anybody. As you can tell, I was, I was doing just fine and I was brought up very well. And it just completely consumed me. And it, it's just such a horrific, terrifying drug. Well, even though Hannah has stopped using, she still hears some of those voices from time to time, and experts say this is the lingering effect of the drug. The growing use of bath salts is prompting authorities and health agencies on the state and national level to issue warnings. Go ahead. Okay, once again, um, you see the all-seeing eye there. Sam Shane on the left all week talked about how it was demonic. I know him in real life. He's a Christian-going man. Let me reach the youth for a minute, please. This is a minister right here in the Sacramento area. If you're still in hearing voices, you've not been delivered. There's only one way to be delivered from what has been released upon you. If that you're experiencing what she's experiencing, 
and that's the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to reach out and appeal to you. It was prophesied right here on my channel. Spirit of Pharmakai would be one of the four principalities among the spirit of Cain that would be released off Sacramento. And a couple months later, here it is on the mainstream media. They're telling you to go get therapy. <clears throat> Therapy ain't going to help you. You're going to have to have Jesus. If you are dealing with this issue, message me, comment me confidentially. I want to help you because this has nothing to do with the drug and everything to do with demons. Amen. Peace.